Welcome back to Phoenix with the Bulls up by 11 at halftime of game one. If you were with us at the top of the game, you know that Michael Jordan has broken his two-week silence. About an hour and a half before the game began, he was willing to talk specifically to Ahmad Rashad. Ahmad asked him about the reasons for his prolonged silence. I just felt that it was unfair that I was being considered a criminal for doing something that is not illegal. Gambling is legal and uh, betting is legal. Uh, for what I bet, yeah, it's a little bit more than I wanted to lose. I mean, I didn't bet to lose, but I lost it and I paid off all my debts. I didn't want to go to NBC or anyone else and let them know, hey, I lost $500,000, I'm going to pay it this, I'm going to pay it that way. You know, I thought I was taking care of what my responsibility was, responsibilities were, and I lost. Uh, my family's not starving. My wife, if I had a problem, would have left me, or you know, certainly would have came to me and said, hey, seek help. My family, my mother and father, who we are close-knit people, and they have monitored me from when I was a kid, when I was born, up until where I am now. And if I ever had a problem, they never had a problem telling me that I had a problem. So they never came to me and said, hey, Michael, you got a gambling problem. Uh, or you know, my wife never said, and she's chief of finances in my household. She knows what comes in and what leaves. Uh, and she never said, Michael, hey, you got a problem. You know, I think that's something that the media has taken it far greater than what it is. Uh, soon, whenever I walk away from this game, uh, I think that's the only thing that people are going to say was a bad thing about Michael Jordan. No, I didn't commit a crime, but he gambled. And if that's the least that I could be considered or have on my repertoire or my you know, resume that, hey, I'm a competitor and I gambled, uh, let's say, half a million dollars, and yet I'm still living, I'm not broke. Uh, financially, I, I still think I'm set, I don't have to work, and I choose to do whatever I choose to do once I leave the game of basketball that I'm happy. I think the thing that really staggered the public was the fact of the amounts. All of a sudden it's reported that you lost over a million oh, dollars uh, playing <laughs> on golf bets. A million dollars? I, I guess I would be sick if I lost 1.2 million dollars and he would be sick if he reduced 1.2 million dollars and he's got 300,000. So yeah, he must be sick if that's the case. But I think that he exaggerated to a point and, I'm, and I've come up with my own conclusion of why the exaggeration was to 1.2 or whatever was that it sells books it sells books plus for a guy who makes over a million dollars to lose three hundred thousand dollars is easy acceptable from the public but to say he lost 1.2 then the public's gonna look at it and say oh god that's a lot of money you know that's that's a 1.2 maybe he does have a problem but I think that was one of the reasons that the numbers were thrown up there but uh, Either way, I felt I was betrayed by this individual. Uh, he considered himself a friend. I don't consider him a friend because friends don't do that to other friends. And if, let's say, if I did have a problem, if he was such a friend, he would come to me and say, hey, Michael, I think you got a problem. I'm doing this book, blah, blah, blah. Go seek help. No, here go my doctor. Go see this doctor. Go see my doctor. Maybe he can help you. And I never got that call. Do you feel like you have to really close yourself off from people or ask to see a resume before you go out and play golf with people? I don't want to. I don't think I should. I think uh, you learn from the perception of people that you deal with uh, how to judge people. I think how to judge people. Uh, I'm never really going to know because I can't get inside of your head or the next person's head. But I have to be very perceptive of what this person is, his main objective is in terms of trying to be my friend or trying to get close to me because of other circumstances. I think it must, I must put up a bigger or tougher screen for other people to, to get closer to me. For the public, do you have a gambling problem? No, I, I enjoy it. It's a hobby. If I had a problem, I'd be starving. I'd be hawking this watch. My championship rings, I would sell my house. I would do this. My wife would left me or she'd be starving. My kids would be starving. I do not have a problem. I, I enjoy gambling, but um, I, I think that people are trying to make it seem like I have a problem because they don't really know. And when you have an area that you don't really know about, you're going to have people you know, taking, taking it further or speculating even further until, you know, until I come out and basically give my own opinion about it. You mentioned your age. 
And you mentioned earlier in the interview that it's going to be over with soon. You seem more charged up for this particular series than you have the last three years. Well, I felt I had a lot of things on my mind. And, I, and I, this is one of the reasons that I wanted to talk to you and, and get some of the things off my chest so I could enjoy what's this history that we're about to make and winning the third championship. Uh, and I did say soon. No one knows when soon is. Soon could be next year. Soon could be two years, you know. But could soon be after this year? Could be, but I will not quit this game because of what the media has done to me or what other people have done to me. I will quit this game because my skills are diminished. I can't find the challenges to keep pushing myself. Uh, my, love, my love is always going to be there, but I will. my pride won't let me leave because someone else is going to push me out. I'm going to leave on my own terms, and I don't think too many athletes have, have that opportunity to do. And that's what I want to do whenever it comes to my time. Want to bet? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jordan with 10 points on five of nine from the field in the first half.